All right, I wanted to give you a little tour of how I'm modifying these milk crates to be a little bit stronger at the bottom of my wetland filter. This is what I'm using in place of uh, aqua blocks because I got them uh, for about a, like a dollar twenty-five or a dollar thirty a piece or something, which works out to like twenty-five or thirty cents a gallon of storage versus almost two dollars a gallon of storage for aqua blocks is the going rate right now. So, anyways, way cheaper, not as strong, but strong enough. These uh, these milk crates can handle something like almost 2,000 pounds uh, per square foot uh, of compression force. And that's, so that's if the, if the weight is spread over the entire surface. You know, if you put a plate on that and then compressed it, it'd do almost 2,000. But where the weak points are is this, you know, this mesh netting at the top is kind of, kind of flimsy. It's pretty strong. I could jump up and down like crazy on this and never break it. Uh, but just for a little bit of uh, extra assurance, I had a bunch of one inch uh, PVC uh, pressure pipe, you know, schedule 40 PVC for, uh, a, uh, an irrigation project that, uh, that never was. And so what I ended up doing is taking an inch and a quarter hole saw attachment for my drill and drilling out right along the top of, and yeah, there's a helicopter flying over my house. Sorry. Uh, drilling out an inch and a quarter, which is the outside dimension of one inch PVC. And it's a really, really tight fit. So what you end up doing is you drill out right here, right in the center, right up against the edge, and it's 13 inches across. So you, you just set up a stop block on your chop saw and uh, saw a bunch of 13 inch lengths of uh, PVC. And you end up with, you know, something like this. And then you set it on its side, Stick in the hole and I use a rubber mallet to just hammer it down and get through the first one and down to the second one, down to the second hole. And then you've got this piece of one inch PVC as a piece of support against across this netting, which in a wetland filter that's covered by, uh, you know, 24 inches of, you know, what I'm going to end up with is about 24 inches of gravel on top of these. I don't think it makes a huge difference in the sense that I think the weight is probably spread out enough uh, over the course of two feet of of your material to to not put really any point load on this weaker spot on top here but you know just as a some extra reassurance it's real easy to do uh, and really cheap as well this has a lot of uh, this has a lot of strength to the top of the uh, to the top of the crate and gives me um, you know it just reduces the risk of if any point load fell down into this into this area it would be distributed a little bit better